Welcome back to Let's Make a Game. I was on uh, itch.io recently uh, looking at the games made with twine. Um, and one of them uh, that I looked at seems to be called Try Gaia had a feature that I've noticed in other games and actually even before there were uh, online games I've noticed it in uh, printed uh, game books as well and I want to talk about that today in this video this um, this particular game is uh, apparently one of the most popular games on itch.io that has uh, the twine tag, i.e. is made with twine. Um, and it, it seems to have won a, a Player's Choice Award as well. So it's obviously quite popular and I wonder whether my problem with this feature is just me. But anyway, I thought I'd share it with you. Um, you, can, you can agree or disagree in the comments, I guess. Wait for it to load. Um, this game does use um, pretty uh, extensive sound, uh, sort of sound effects and stuff. So I'm obviously going to turn the music off. Um, yeah, I'll turn the background music right off. So okay, let's. Uh, Go a new game, um, choose the normal difficulty setting. Okay, so we open our eyes and we don't realize we don't know where we are. And we have these choices examine, search, or leave. Um, if we examine, we get a choice of the tube we came out, came out of, that console over there, one of those panels. All right, let's look at the console. And we get a little bit of text. And then we have the choice of the tube and the panels. Okay, we'll look at the tube. We get a bit of text. Um, this particular part, we get to pick our, um, our gender and appearance. Um, but other than that, yes, I'm male. Um, and then we have to, well, we can say never mind, but then we get to check, we get to look at, uh, the next thing and we get another bit of text. Now, that's presented in the form of choices, but... Think about what happened. There were three things that we could examine, and when we examined one, we got a bit of text, and then we got the two, the other two that we could examine, and then we examined one of those, and we got some text, and then we examined the final one, and we got some text. As far as I can tell, um, examining those things doesn't change the game at all, and the order in which we look at these things doesn't matter and it doesn't seem to matter whether we look at them or not. So have we really gotten choice? I mean, really what they've presented us with in this game is just a bunch of text and we get the choice to read some of it in the order that we want. Well, how is that a, how is that a choice? Like what's interesting about that? And we can search... Um, and we find something if we search, I suppose, but, um, okay, so that's, that's really, um, that's really the thing I wanted to complain about. Um, I, I, I went through that fairly quickly. If I'd, if I'd read it properly, it obviously would have taken longer, but, I've spent several minutes in a game that is ostensibly about making choices, not really making choices. It's sort of in the form of making choices. I've got this menu of options that I can look at. But really what it's saying is, here's some text, 
Uh, none of it matters to the game. Um, you can read it, or you can not read it, or you can read it in a different order, or you can read some of it and not others. But none of it really matters to the game. Is is that really a choice? I mean, it's not. It's not what I think of when I think of a choose your own adventure style game. Not that I mean, not that games made with twine have to be choose your own adventure style games, but this one clearly sort of wants to be. Um, what I what I find interesting about those sort of games when when I when I when I am interested in them is that you make a choice and that choice has particular outcomes. Help you win or lose, or it helps you win or lose, and you make a series of choices and go, okay, that didn't work. That led me into drowning or whatever you know whatever the end was. I'll make some different choices and let's see how these different choices change how things turn out. Well, these choices don't change how things turn out. So the interest um, the interest isn't there. And I wonder what would have been lost if they just said, okay, out of these three bits of text, what are the things that the player really needs to do? Well, they can choose their um, gender and their appearance. Okay, well, that's that's something some people are going to be interested in. So that's a thing that has to happen. Other than that, is there is there is there much that seems essential to the plot? It doesn't really seem to be. I mean, I got the idea that I was on a some sort of crashed spaceship, um, pretty much from the beginning, and I don't think any of that text really contradicted that idea, and it certainly wasn't necessary to to give me that idea. So, would the game have been? Would the game? What would have been lost if 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 that sort of false choice hadn't been there? Um, I'm not really sure, and I'm I am a bit hesitant to say this because, um, you know, apparently this is a really popular game. Apparently this is what people who play these sorts of games want. So maybe there's some, uh, you know, there's some sort of uh, joy in it that I'm missing, and maybe it really maybe it's just me. But it seems to me that it's that it's offering the form of what these games do well, which is offer you choices and the consequences of those choices, at least consequences within the story. It's offering that the form of that, but it isn't offering it isn't offering the, the reality of it. Um, and it seems to me that the game probably would have been better if that hadn't if they hadn't done that, if they just been honest about what they were doing, which is there's certain bits of text that we think the player should have. If they'd just given you that at the beginning and cut out the rest, it seems to me like it would have been, you know, a better game. Um, you may disagree, and if you do, please say so in the comments. But anyway, those, those were my thoughts. Um, I hope that was useful or interesting to at least some of you. And I hope you will tune in next time.